Okay, so a rough loss to the Ducks. The Kings uh, lose a very important game in terms of the standings, which at this point don't matter, but uh, it's also just a rivalry game that we shouldn't be losing. We're the better team. We played like the better team for the most part. Um, you know, the game, I think as the game went on, the team got worse, which isn't a good sign. You want to get better as the game goes on, but... You know what? Uh, at the end of the day, that stuff doesn't matter because the big deal, the big story of the night is Quinn Byfield finally making his debut. And it was a good one. You know, it, there was ups and downs like any young player is going to have. But overall, you just want to play well on your first game. You want to look like you can hang and can can play at the NHL level. And I think Byfield definitely proved that tonight. The review is going to focus heavily on him. So I just want to get out uh, some of the initial stuff. First of all, lineup shaken uh, a bunch. They stick with the 7-Eleven setup with McDermott getting into the lineup. Um I don't understand why uh you know i know it's a rivalry game against the ducks they have delorier so you want to you want to have the grit but uh when you have lemieux and i thought the whole the whole purpose of getting lemieux was to be able to phase mcdermott out not sure why they're sticking with that especially when it comes to the extent of jared anderson dolan and carl grunstrom getting benched tonight i don't like to see that i'm not sure what the thought process is um but that's how the Kings did. I will say that Lemieux had a good game. Uh, initially, I was pretty upset that he was in instead of Anderson Dolan or even Wagner. But he did his job. He drew a penalty with the uh, the high hit. Uh, looked pretty good. Looked active. And, you know, did his little pest thing getting in the face of Delorier once or twice. So not a bad game for him. Uh, Kempe, really good game. You know, goal and assist. Uh, he was flying again. He's been probably the best player for the Kings for the past four or five games and more as well. Uh, you know, it's the Quinn Byfield, Moore, and Kempe line. That's where I wanted them to put Byfield because I feel like that's the safest line to put him on. He, you know, and I think that line was the best line tonight, which isn't a surprise because, like I said, you go back, you know, the past couple weeks and any line, any center that Kempe and Moore have seems to be the best line. For the team they just uh they know how to get the, the guys going and really uh you know put some pressure on the opponents which you aren't seeing from a lot of the other players on the team i thought tonight was a pretty poor game from the first line which has been something i've talked about a couple times now where they kind of seem to take games off um especially Kopi tonight you know usually he'll do his little Kopi thing even when it's not looking like a great night for him but nothing much he looked very passive tonight um was not taking any kind of initiative. He had a couple of chances where he could have just taken a shot on net, you know, on a two on one. And he's just looking for the pass too much. And you don't like to see that because while Kopi can get away with, you know, maybe not giving a hundred percent effort because he's Kopitar, he's got so much skill. The team can't get away with that. The team needs Kopitar to be playing with a hundred percent effort because he's our best player. He is the Kings. Um, and just didn't get it tonight, and that's kind of the reason that they failed to to win the game because it was one line with a guy making his first NHL game debut, and that was pretty much it. Uh, Velarde does get a goal, which is nice to see, and I, I hope that Byfield finally making the debut, finally being on the team, I hope that kind of takes some pressure off of Gabe Velarde because this whole season and, and going back to his debut last year, it's there's so much pressure on him as oh the next guy you know the number one prospect on the team right now and so hopefully with byfield coming in it it kind of takes that pressure off of him where he's not being looked at as the guy the young player that's going to be thrown in these situations now it's kind of byfield's job and hopefully velarde can find his game a little bit more um but you know that being said uh he gets the power play goal but then again not much going on Leas Anderson does get another crack, and I'm excited for that. I think he had a pretty good game. He had the two first really good chances for the Kings. Didn't didn't get the score on him because John Gibson made some good plays, but I like what Leas Anderson brings, and I especially like what he brings uh, when you have a guy like Velarde who 
struggles on the faceoff spot a little bit. You know, Anderson's a guy who can play wing. He can take faceoffs. He did that tonight and was pretty good. Um, and I just hope that the Kings continue to play him because at this point now, losing tonight, it's season's over. We've committed to Quinn Byfield. We've committed to the youth. Just let the guys play. Let this kid who's been doing well in the AHL, he's been on the taxi squad half the year, let him play. Let him get his feet wet. And like I said, he, he had a good game tonight. He looked active. And how I mentioned, you know, the Kings, they, they started to play worse as the game went on. He also got less ice time. And he's the kind of player who does bring some tenacity, does bring some compete level that I think was lacking for, you know, the last 30 minutes of the game. Uh, and then I guess, you know, just going back to Quinn Byfield, just talking about him kind of nitpicking and, and stuff like that. Like I said, overall, it was a good game. He had a couple bad plays. He took the bad penalty. The second goal against was him not being able to get the puck out of the D zone. That's something that the Kings struggled with as a team tonight. Um, like I said, especially in the second half of the game, it just got super sloppy. But overall, he was making plays. You know, he looked confident. He wasn't. He didn't look nervous out there, which is good. Both Kempe and Moore set him up with really good chances that were stopped by Gibson. So, you know, I think he's going to start building chemistry with the line. Like I said, I think it's a great line for him to be on because Kempe and Moore have proven that they can raise whoever their center is and, and raise their game. And we'll have to see what, what he does in the future. I mean, it's his first game. It was a good game for him. You know, he's going to learn and... He's going to have back-to-back -back games this weekend where he can, you know, watch some film, get a little bit more comfortable with the team, with his line, and more comfortable in the NHL because, you know, you don't want to rush these guys. Uh, Jamie Drysdale, I talked about in the last one, you know, he's kind of struggled at the NHL level. Uh, tonight, he actually had a really good game, very good defensively, but, you know, you can't rush these guys. They're going to take time. And Quinn Byfield, yes, he's the second overall pick. Yes, there's tons of pressure on him from Kings fans and the organization to be the next Kopitar and be the next true number one center. But you just got to give him time. And, you know, he's, he he obviously didn't come out like Velarde and score seven seconds into his debut. That's fine. You just want him to start building experience, getting into positions. You know, they put him on the power play. He got some penalty kill time. He was winning big faceoffs. He was on the, uh, you know, he was part of the uh, six on five at the end with the empty net. Like these are the experiences that he has to get, you know, finishing out the last nine, 10 games as we, you know, go into the next year. And you just have to remember, he's 18 years old. He's one of the youngest guys to ever debut. He's younger than Drew Doughty uh, when Drew, Drew Doughty debuted. And I know Doughty was an older guy um, in his draft year, but that was still pretty shocking to me because we obviously made the team right out of you know right out of the draft so you got to give him time and like i said he looked good we'll see what happens and hopefully the team can bounce back because tonight the effort was there i think for the first 25 30 minutes and then it just just disappeared and uh, that can't happen especially when you're you're bringing up a young guy like quinn byfield you can't have a guy like kopitar kind of taking the night off and not not playing uh like he can and and how he should so Anyways, I will be back this weekend following the next game and the one on Sunday. Hopefully we'll have some better news. Hopefully Byfield will get on the score sheet and we'll have some some things to celebrate, some hype train, hype threads on Reddit, and it'll be a better time than tonight. But still, this marks the future. It marks the uh King Quentin Byfield era and that's that's good. No matter what the result is, that's a great sign. The team is moving forward. The organization is going in a good direction. And there's only so many more. There's so many more guys that are going to be making debuts. I mean, this isn't just a our one and only hope. I mean, we got tons of guys that are going to come up. This is going to be something that's going to be happening for a while. And it's it's exciting. It's exciting to see these high draft pick, really highly touted, very good players start making this team. And they're going to start making the team better. I think Byfield tonight, like I said, he played well. He was one of the better guys on the ice, and he's going to start elevating other dudes because there's only so many spots. I mean, 11 forwards tonight, there's not many spots. You've got to play hard to keep your spot, and the young guys are going to start forcing that issue. So a little bit longer of a review, but have to talk about Quinn Byfield. I hope you guys 
enjoyed and if you did please leave a like uh, comment if you have any comments on the game subscribe if you want to keep up to date i obviously post these after king's games every time and then sometimes i'll throw in a little extra video on different topics you know we're coming up to the end of the season the draft is going to start happening so definitely have some prospect videos and where i think the king should should move in the draft and maybe move some picks or players for different guys because you know the team like we see tonight they need some help so there's gonna be some big big news coming up that i'll cover and yeah anyways uh i'll stop rambling thank you guys again for watching and uh have a good rest of the week because the weekend hopefully will be better